Alright friends, check it out. It's Miss Kelly. She's in her kitchen. So today we're going to make your favorite Play-Doh. So I have the ingredients. I have the recipe. I'm going to share it all with you. And you're going to watch me make Play-Doh. Cool? Alright. So I'm going to flip this around so you can see. Here's our recipe for Play-Doh. So it says one cup of flour right there one cup of flour so this is what i keep my flour in i already measured it out this right here is one cup so i'm going to put it in my pot that's on the oven so it's hot so mommies and daddies are going to have to help you do this okay so there's my one cup of flour then it says a one fourth cup of salt so here is the salt, and I already measured it out in my measuring cup. This is one fourth, it's written right there on the handle. One fourth cup of salt, put that in. All right, so, and then it says two teaspoons cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is this awesome spice right here. We don't even know what we use it for in anything else, but I know it's used for Play-Doh. So it said two teaspoons. So that is two of these smaller spoons. So it says teaspoon, and there's a one on it. So I had to do this twice. So I already put it in here. All right, so that's gonna go in my pot. Two teaspoons of cream of tartar. Then it says one tablespoon vegetable oil. One tablespoon. So a tablespoon is bigger than the teaspoon. See? See it's bigger? And it says one tablespoon. So I just had to do this one time. So here I already put it. And this is what vegetable oil looks like. I'm sure mommies and dads have this to cook with. So it's already in here, see, doesn't smell, it's kind of boring. One tablespoon vegetable oil. Now it says I need one cup of water, one cup of water. Well, we all know what water looks like. We all know where the water comes from. Where did Miss Kelly get the water from? I hope you said the faucet or the sink. So it's going in my pot. I already had it on, so we can start this. So I'm gonna stir it up. I already burned it, but that's okay. It's all right, it's all right. We're gonna stir it up. Stir it up. I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna flip my camera. And we're gonna try to not burn this. So I'm stirring it up. There's one more ingredient that I have to put in here so that it change, changes colors. So at home, you can either use food coloring or you can use Play-Doh. I'm going to, I mean Kool-Aid. I'm putting purple Kool-Aid in mine. This, hopefully this works because I think this should work. All right, so you stir it up. So I'm stirring it up in my pot. And I'm stirring it up, trying not to burn it. So you're gonna stir it until it forms a ball. So all these ingredients are gonna turn into Play-Doh. Won't that be awesome? So I'm stirring it up. It's turning purple. Make sure mommy and daddy, whoever's helping, turn your, your temperature low. No, don't cook it on high or you're gonna burn it. I started up too high. I don't normally burn the Play-Doh, guys, do I? No, I don't. So it's starting to form a ball. So there we go, starting to form a new a, a ball. It's really hot and it's purple, it's dark. So I'm stirring it up into Play-Doh. So it's gonna be a ball. I think I could probably turn the heat off. Keep stirring it. All right, so I think I got it. I think it's in a ball. It's not all mixed up completely, but all purposes here I think it looks pretty good all right so I'm gonna take it over to my 
cutting board and I'm going to carefully, I'm going to let it cool a minute before I touch it because if you touch it, it's really hot. So I'm going to walk it over here. So I'm going to walk you over here so you can watch. Oh, 